Hello, Kita Queens and Kita Beauties. Yes, it's me again, and I'm back. We're gonna start this video like all the other ones. We're doing my eyebrows, and first, I'm gonna brush them out using this spoolie, and I'm filling them in using my Nika K black eyebrow pencil. This is the auto eyebrow pencil, so it rolls up. And I'm starting to like this one more than the regular eyebrow pencil, but the only thing is, if your face is oily, the product will not show up, which is why you didn't see me put any moisturizer on. To clean up my eyebrows, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer on this flat synthetic brush. All of the shade names will be listed down below in the description box, so if you want to know what colors I'm using, just look there. Once my eyebrows are clean, I'm going to go on my lids with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer as an eyeshadow base. And we're using the Hermosa palette again today. And the first shade I will be taking is that deep purple at the top. And I'm just packing it on my eyelids. We're doing a full cut crease today, so I'm packing it in the shape that I want it to be. And I had to build up this purple just because it wasn't as deep as I wanted it to be. It kind of showed up really light and I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, I put about five or six layers of it on. I took the black shade out of the palette mix and put it right on top of the purple just to deepen it up a little bit more. I didn't want to take too much black because I didn't want the black to overpower the purple. I just want the purple to be darker. And next I'm going to take that bright pink shade and put it on top of the purple. It's going to be my last transition color. And this applied pretty light too. I kind of had to build this up as well. As you can see, I have a lot of it on that brush, but it still was applying light to my eyes. So yeah, I had to put a few layers on it as well. And now I'm going back in with the purple just because I don't want to lose it. And then I'm going to clean up my lids with micellar water and a Q-tip before I do my first cut crease. If you want your cut crease to be neat, you may have to clean up in between the cut creases that you do so i'm cutting my crease using my p louise basic brights base and the shade name for it will be down below as well and i'm using the same synthetic flat brush that i use to clean up my eyebrows I forgot to show this on camera, but I set my P. Louise base using this light blue shade out of the palette. I just put it on top of it, and after I set it, I cleaned up under the base once again using my micellar water and a Q-tip because we're about to cut it a second time. And to cut it the second time, I'm taking my Mecca Revolution cut crease base this is the whitest shade that they have i tried this base out before and i didn't like it and i never used it since so i decided to use it for the purpose of this video and it did okay but i like my elf camo concealer better because this creases a lot and it's very oily it's not matte at all and it's full of coverage but i just i don't like it it creases too much so to set it i took that sparkling white shade out of the palette on this small blending brush and now i'm just gonna do a blue line across my eye using the p louise base again i cleaned it up a little bit before i tried to do my line but you really don't have to clean it up considering the fact that it's just blue going on top of white so that's optional if you want to do that I'm going to elongate my wing all the way to the top of my first cut. So it should be going past the white part that we did in the middle.
Okay, so this is what it's looking like and that base was still creasing underneath the eyeshadow So I decided to apply glitter on top of it just to disguise it and I put the clear eyelash glue Under the glitter off camera. So now I'm just stamping it and then I'll be applying mascara to my lashes to remove any fallen glitter from them before I put my falsies on and I'm wearing these 25 millimeter lashes they look crazy in the package they almost look crazy on my eye but I made them work As y'all can see, I was a little skeptical, but it all worked out, as you can see. For my foundation, I went in with my Revlon Colorstay foundation, and I'm just spreading it on my face using this brush. And then after I get it spread it out to where I want to be, I'm going to blend it out using my Real Technique sponge. To highlight, I went in with my e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. If y'all haven't got y'all hands on this concealer yet, I'm going to need y'all to do so. Like, the time is now, baby. Go get it. This is by far the best concealer I've ever applied to my face. It's full coverage. It doesn't feel heavy. And it blends out perfectly. So, I recommend y'all go get it. I like to use whatever excess concealer is left on the brush to clean up my eyeshadow. And now I'm just going to go in and blend everything out using the same side of my Real Technique sponge that I used to blend out my foundation. When blending around the edge of your eyeshadow, be as gentle and slow as you can be because one stamp and your eyeshadow is messed up. So take your time when blending out your highlight. I use a buffing brush to blend out the highlight between my eyebrows and on the ridge of my nose just so it can be as precise as possible and not all over the place. To set all the highlighted areas in place, I'm going to use my LA Girl Press Powder and just lightly stamp it using my Real Technique sponge. And like I said earlier, make sure you work real slow by your eyeshadow so that you do not mess anything up. To set the perimeter of my face, I'm taking my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Ebony and I'm just going to sweep it across everywhere using this big powder brush from the Vanity Planet Collection. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just using that same powder on this eyeshadow brush and I'm using it to scuff out my nose. I just had to take this dark green color and apply it to my under eyes. Now I'm just going to take my black gel liner on a Q-tip and apply it to my waterline. I had to go y'all, they started playing Meg on the TV. The stallion, yes, ma'am. I will show her out for some meg. But back to the tutorial, I put some mascara on the bottom of my lashes, on my bottom lashes, and then I went in with some individual lashes. I only took two of these for each eye and just placed them right underneath my lashes and they're real cute i'm happy i decided to do this this is the kids brand of individual lashes it's the smallest ones that they have I'm gonna have to start wearing these more because girl, I thought this was so cute. Like they made the look. Now I'm just gonna spray my face with some set and spray. This is the rose water set and spray from the Magic Collection. You can find it at the Rita Supply Store. And then I'm gonna fan myself. Oops, wrong side. Fan myself using my bougie girl fan. To highlight my face, I'm taking the darkest highlighter out of my Carnival XL palette. And first I'm going to apply it to my nose using this eyeshadow brush. I'm going to apply it to the tip and to the bridge of my nose. And after that's finished, I'm going to take a blending brush, an eyeshadow blending brush, and I'm going to smile and apply it to my face. For my lips, first I'm gonna line them using my LA Colors Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil. It's the same color that I always line them with. You can find that at the dollar store. And I like to outline them first and then go in and fill in the edges. For my lip color, I'm gonna take the Absolute New York Liquid Lipstick in the center. It's in the color Toasted. And then I put this pink lip gloss on top, but the name rubbed off of it. I got it from the dollar store, but the name rubbed off of it, so sorry. I can't tell y'all the name.
Okay, so this is what we looking like. I'm gonna get up close so y'all can see. All right, so I'm about to go change my clothes and do my hair and I will be right back. So this is the finished look. Y'all already know my outro is real, real long cause I really like this look. So I'ma just let y'all watch it. Decided to comb out my curls to make my hair a little bit bigger cause the bigger the hair, better the look and now the look is perfect yes queen Alright, this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, rate, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my next one. Bye-bye.